Hey fellas, Welp, another month, we're barely halfway through, and this one of the game trial has come to Nintendo Switch, so I thought I would give you my thoughts on the latest one being in Stardew Valley. Like, yeah, right in there in between Animal Crossing and Pokemon Cafe Remix, so let's get started. This game sees you inheriting a a farm harm in a small town from your late grandfather and the objective have is to essentially a restore the farm as well as the surrounding areas to who are the warmer glory and then some there's not really any anything much much resembling a villain that's killing the game. There's, main, you're mainly just maintaining the farm yourself and building relationships with everyone else in the town. I have named my farm Santa Roses, his and my avatar Sean Boy, and homage to my late brother and his birthplace, man. So. I've seen, I saw him play in this game before, or it always looked interesting, and I've also been curious to try for a while, and now, just until the solstice next week, that time is upon me. The game has appeared on numerous platforms, and devices as well as PC in the past, and not only began some of his spiritual successor to the likes of Harvest Moon and Story of Seasons, but in many ways has surpassed it. It's in how it approaches like the slice of life aspects. I mean, I'm not, I'm still, even if you're not into like the relationship aspects, I mean, it's actually magically nice for a little relaxing. I mean, I mean, you know me, man cannot live on action RPGs and fighting games alone, personally. Like, sometimes, games you just want Hans to who return to simplicity, I mean, I mean, it's definitely, they can notice that in visual styles, and even though someone who hasn't been big on the whole domestication of many genres, as recent memory in video games, names, this one actually presented a compelling case, case for it in terms of story, and in a different way than the God of War reboot, it has helped me Help me he come to grips with what happened with my brother. I mean, I've got other videos in mind, and I'm also going to be dealing with that subject in the near future, so it's going to be an ongoing process, I'll definitely tell you that much. But I will say that the game is definitely enjoyable if you had Nintendo Switch online. So we're trying it since this offer is going to be good until well, the 20th this month, and just a heads up, ups, and I'm also, might be taking a day off that day as well, I mean, oh, because it turns out not just Father's Day, but the solstice observation also overlaps with another, another event being observed that makes one step aside, you know the one, if you've been paying attention to stuff. Anyway, that's all for now, and I will see you tomorrow with my next Obi-Wan Kenobi vlog, and that'll, that'll be it. Take care, everyone. Mm.